Bottom. Great, great sponsors. And we got James Burns on. Thank you very much for coming, man. Good to be here. Yeah. So you were uh, the voice actor uh, in Black Ops 1, 2, 4. No, 3. I noticed that. Did your guy die yeah. in 3? <laughs> no, no. Um, it, it's, I have no idea what happened there. They're um, 1, 2, 4, uh, Black, o- Black Ops 4, Blackout in a Declassified. What happened with 3 and Cold Water? It's a mystery. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't either. I, I, I didn't yeah. play the fourth one. Did you ever play him, or did you just show up for work and be like, "Oh, you can't fucking <laughs> come at me like that"? Like, like, did you know it was like? Did you know it was happening at a given level, or would you? Be, they tell you like, "All right, you're gonna I tell, wish. you're gonna tell Moose that he can't, you know, get the diamonds <laughs> soon enough." <laughs> you know? Moose, get the yeah. diamonds. So- what what game was that? I, I don't know. So- Pull your mic in I'm, front of your mouth. Just I'm, I'm do it. Just do it all the way. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. You're a voice um, actor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what? Ooh, what you, I mean, really? Yeah. Uh, no, man, I had... You guys, can you hear me or not? Yeah, 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 I can hear you. It just gets better when you're closer, when you're talking to the mic. Yeah, man, I tell you what, um, I had no idea what I was getting into. Uh-huh. Um, I thought it was just a gig. I, I, almost, I almost turned the job down. Um, it was... Uh, originally, I got hired to test the technology for performance capture. They hadn't done it before. September 2009, they needed some guy with weapons training, some uh, stunt, some training, and I fit the bill. They brought me in, and they just liked me. They they really didn't want uh, a nobody in this in the park. I had just begun acting. I'd been acting about four or five years, uh-huh. so I was pretty, I was pretty new. And I think they wanted a celeb in there because they're trying to beef things up. And then somehow, um, well, it's, it's you won them over. Yeah. Hey, so, so did you have you have actual military experience, like real life? You said you had weapons. No, training. I do not. No, but I grew up around guns. I spend a lot of time around the military. I do a lot of these parts, anyways. And as a professional hockey player and coach, so that that el- idea of teamwork, camaraderie, that ball busting kind of alpha mm-hmm. thing that you that, that you sense out of the Woods character that's that's kind of organic to where I came from, you know. So, but you, the a, character you play is the military yeah. guy. So Woods? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't feel like that's a stolen valor issue? I mean, I'm offended. I spend a lot of time with the U.S. military. They, they've flown us. I've been in Afghanistan. They've flown us all over the world. This uh, is the I have a black friend defense of stolen valor. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, so, I, I, I used to struggle with that. I used to think that... What? Uh, you know, <laughs> Why would you? you know, well, because, because the, 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 amount of, the amount of adulation I receive for this character is, is ridiculous. And like I said, I've been, I, I've been in a combat zone. I've been in Afghanistan. I see what these guys go through. I see what... I've been in rooms with guys who have just been shot in Pakistan. So... In the most humbling moment in my life, we walk in to you know hand out our little cards and shit. Here's a guy with three fucking bullets in him, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I have nothing to say to this guy. I'm a, I play at it. This is the real thing. So, is there? I, are you tempted at all to use like your voice and be like, "You'll get through this, soldier." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. no. <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, mi- mission fail. We'll get him next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get out. You can get That's hilarious. No. Yeah. So uh, you, you mentioned you did stunt stuff as well. Did you do that yeah. before getting into the voice side of it? And like, what does that entail? Driving, jumping around, well, flips? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I'm, I don't want to present myself as a voice actor. Uh, Woods, the stuff, Woods is primarily action. I mean, live action. Everything you see Woods do basically happen on a set someplace with other people. Like, you know, like, like, uh, like TV or a movie, same thing. Mm-hmm. I didn't spend a lot of time in the box uh, just you know, barking shit out. I actually, you know, had a lot of great actors around me so we could interact a little bit. Um, the stunt training came in, just came in handy. Yeah, you know, I'm a precision driver. I'm, I'm at, very athletic. I'm in shape. So rolling and taking punches and fighting people, I got fighting skills. So being able to do all that stuff is, you know, 
stunt training. I'm not jumping off of fucking buildings. Yeah. I mean, I, I can take a hit. You can throw me on a pad. I can take care of myself in a tussle. So that's, um, that's what I mean by that. So that was very, um, that was very, it was an element of the character that was needed. But to be able Definitely. to do that was had the physical confidence to move well. Like, you know, like I have actually. I've, I've never asked, asked an actual stunt guy about it, but like, I've always, I know we've talked about this before, the three of us, where like, when someone like Tom Cruise is like, I don't, I do all my own stunts, nobody else can do my stunts. Is there a little bit of like, where it's like, come on, man, like, it's, it's an industry here. Like, Vince Vaughn doesn't, you know, jump off buildings, not just because he doesn't think he can do it, but also because like, you know, there, there's a bunch of people here whose job it is to do that. Well, let, let, me, let me predicate this. I am not a stuntman by trade. I have stunt mm -hmm. capabilities. So let's okay. predicate that. I, I don't make my living as a stuntman. That's why I almost didn't take the job to begin with. I didn't want to be a stuntman. You know, um, it, these guys like pro athletes, man, they get hurt a lot, which is why I, I know, the, I know this, the, the, the mystique around Cruz and his, his stunt things, but he is very, he's very smart. He also knows that he cannot take an injury because if he goes down, the whole movie goes down. And that's mm -hmm. millions of dollars a day. So, yes, he does a certain amount of stunts, but there is a lot of uh, substitution because he can't, he can't afford to lose him. He got, he's got, and he's, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really know him, but I know people who are, I, and he's just, he, he's a remark. You they talk about Wayne Gretzky. You just, you put him over there, he's different. You know, he, he just, he's a, just a, a super high achieving guy. Um, and, you know, he, he's, he's smart enough to know how to take care of himself on set. He broke his leg in Mission Impossible, though, right? Yes, he Angle did. Or something, yeah. yeah. And that, that cost him tens of millions of dollars because he, he is the driving force, you know? I feel like you called him selfish for putting stuntmen out of work. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. How dare uh, you say yeah, that about Mr. Cruz? Yeah. Mr. Cruz, Cruz is not to be questioned. <laughs> this is the nor Tom is Cruise. Nor is his church. This is the Tom <laughs> Cruise fanboy podcast. That's all we discuss here is, is Tom Cruise and, and, and how wonderful he is. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we're yeah, going to talk about Edge of Tomorrow. Um, I like yeah. that movie. I like that movie a lot. <laughs> I like it too. That's it great. might be his best. It's really good. It's, so it's you, up uh, there. It was you, action movies. It's so fucking good. 